guys, welcome back to Gelam Nakal Vlog. And today I'm here to record the preparations that are going on for biokinesis, which is going to be held in Assam Engineering College for four days, which is from tomorrow. And it starts on 25th of February and it will last for four days, which is till 1st of March. And these are the preparations that are going on. It is not yet ready and behind there is a stage building going on backside it's supposed to be tomorrow but it's not still ready yet I don't know how it is going to be and you can also see the markets that are going to open in the event hey. So this is the bending going on for biorganisms. So if you look from far, it shows biorganisms. Not see it properly. So what is your name? My name is Udipto Nguyen Gogoi. Oh. I am from Hostel 5. Which just department? Like, just like Kumangda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So it seems all my hostelers are here. My hostel brothers. Hello. Yeah. What's going on here? Five Ben bending. Oh. So what colors? What bendings are are you guys using? Yeah. Yeah. Bending. Yeah. 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 Graffiti. Oh, yes. It seems it's called graffiti building. Ah, uh, bending. <laughs> I didn't know that. So, th this is about the bending they are making. It's built pyrokinesis, but I don't know. It's not fin finished yet, so it's not very clear. These are work actually. Oh. Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel and today is the first day of biokinesis and this is my college building and today I'm going to inspect all the events that are going, to, uh, going on in the classrooms there are different uh, events hosted by different students so we are going to witness that today show you the things that are going on inside here so let me ask the manager for further details what is this event for actually uh, basically this is a, a mega science exhibition of all northeast level yes um, we, we have categorized it in two parts one is junior division up to class 10 and secondly, it is senior division from class 11 to up to, up to undergraduate level. Okay. So these participants are from yes, yes, yes. all over. Uh, these pa these participants are from uh, all over the Assam. Okay. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Some some have came from North Lokimpur as well. So some of them uh, have uh, participated from this own college, AEC Assam Engineering College. Then. Uh, from Golaghat, from Namlu, from the Google, everyone is from different different places. Uh, enterprises can have a trip to uh, Singapore as well as uh, Amsterdam. That is the main attractive thing of our event that uh, someone has sponsored this trip for the uh, first first winners, the first position holders. Yes. So thank you so much, brother. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So you can see when the ice sensor detect any fire, it will automatically send the uh, emission motor. Wow. Water. Wonderful project. So first, you can prevent. Forest yeah, fire. forest fire. Yeah. Thank you so much, brother. And Thank one you. last question I would like to ask you. Yeah. So how do you like? How are you going to uh, put the device on the port, uh, like on the animal? So basically, we'll make the GPS in a small, in a small.
Sell the battery means we will exceed the power of the cells of the rhinos The cells from from the will convert the energy and, and we will use the GPS model in the horn. Will fit inside the horn. These are the organizers. Uh, yeah. I am the internet. Oh. I am the internet. So they are making robots or what? What? What is any kind of science innovation projects? It's an open big scientific competition. All of them. So you have various innovations from all all the backgrounds. So it is depends on management and sustainability. So it's a very well ongoing. So it has to be a working model. Yeah, yeah. It has to be for the time. So thank you so much. I'll be visiting all the participants right now. Yeah. So I'll go there. Yeah. What is the main purpose of your project? So uh, we have a uh, stadium, smart eco stadium, which represents a sustainable infrastructure for the future. Now uh, this stadium doesn't produce any kind of waste materials or doesn't produce any threat or risk to the environment. And uh, yeah, it is based on the concept of self-sustainability. That means it doesn't need any external help to uh, run on its own. So for that purpose, we have integrated some concepts, which also helps in uh, uh, reducing some of the risk of the environment. Like we can generate electricity through people's movement. For that purpose, we have used the piezoelectric sensors at the stairs here. So whenever someone will walk over this, the light will blink as the light is blinking yeah. and inside the stadium also we have also piezoelectric sensors yeah. so while playing time if the ball hits the wall then the light will blow so this yeah. way electricity will be generated now yeah. this generated electricity can be then stored in the battery and for uh, can be used in for other purposes in the stadium yeah. then the, the since uh, most of the is to have some canteens and food courts and the tons of food waste is, uh, is to produce every day so yeah. instead of just uh, wasting them we converted them into organic manure by in the composting unit yeah. then that produced waste can be used in the garden also yeah. and also in the another concept that is a vertical farming now this vertical farming is very important because with rapid urbanization the farmland is shrinking and in order to feed the growing population uh, vertical farming is very important because it requires very much uh, small space to grow foods and uh, for the irrigation purpose, we have used a drip irrigation system as it requires very less water. Uh, thank you so much, brother. It is uh, like combination of all the like uh, eco-friendly things. Nah? So nice. So we are co witnessing all this. And how about these gardens? Yes. So basically, when you see the canteen, in the canteen, we may have some food waste. So we have made a hydraulic system where food waste in the canteen is kept in a uh, like a place and that place they lifts up and the food waste directly falls into the organic pit where it becomes when it turns into a manure and that manure is later used in the gardens so it goes directly into the gardens yes with the help of hydraulics yes sir so is rainwater harvesting included in this project? Yes. Okay. So whenever the rain will fall on the roof, yes. then the rain will be directly directed in the vertical farming place. Oh, okay. okay. Then after that, uh, some uh, holes are pierced under this vertical farming. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, this rainwater will be directed through a pipe connected this one, okay. and it will be stored here in this container. So now this container can be used for uh, irrigating the garden also. Oh, okay, okay. So nice idea. So, like, uh, how many voltage or how many amount of current can it produce in one step uh, it mainly depends upon the force but at, uh, on an average it can uh, generate from about uh, 2 milliwatts to about 10 watts also depending upon the force so this is Rosalette's 6.0 and we are going to witness the demonstration of the engine so right now I'll be uh, asking the demonstration of our two brother and sisters. So are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So uh, we have a software which is a Sonic scripting software. So in this software what we can do is like we can convert any drawing, artwork or write-up into a sound of its own which will have a specific sound of each structure. So uh, this can help you know people who have visual impairment and autism to like help them in learning procedure as they can visualize it through the sound they hear it because every structure will have a unique sound. So uh, even autistic kids like they can uh, be uh, this can be of use as like they can retain their attention as they can scribble and at the same time they can learn. Let me show you the alphabet thing. We also have developed an alphabet thing like uh, if you run this and then uh, there are two modes over here. This is a draw mode and we have a text mode. And if for example for now we just we can uh, manage only one two letters. For now you say a letter. Any any word Z. Z. So we type Z and we will, we will create a sound. This is the sound wave of the Z and this is the uh, the Lesados figure of Z. So this is the sound. It, it will be a very pitchy sound. So I'm gonna. Okay. So this is the sound of Z. This is the sound of Z. So if we decode the sound over here, we have a decoder also. If we decode the sound, it will show us that we just type Z. Okay. We just type Z. Huh? Decoded text Z. So yeah. So like. It has to become like music band. Yeah, 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 yeah. Person's uh, mind. Yeah, yeah. So it can also be used in security. Just imagine you have a you have a code. You have a code. A B C. Any code you have. Uh, it can be used in military purposes as well. You have a code, and you want to send it to the uh, your front line or something like that. But in between, there is the enemy which which can capture it. And they can uh, understand, but but if it is the sound itself, they will have no clue what uh, they are. Uh, <laughs> if and only if you have the decoder itself, you have to have the decoder, and you won't give the, them the decoder. The decoder is with you, so it can be used as security as well. It has many applications. It's just the basic model. Oh, so, so, uh, so after a short break, I'll be going for do the even do the next even actually, and that is the. Uh, IPL auction and the uh, like the managers of IPL auction has <coughs> like invited me to come to their play place and look so it seems they are taking a uh, break right now so I'll go there after some time so within this time let me just show you around the sun I <laughs> Hey, where are you staying these days? Okay. How are you, brother? I'm good, good. How's the program going on? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm so feeling good. Uh, you took up any yeah. even or not? No, no, I didn't take any. You didn't take up any one. I don't want to. Photo is my. You want to be free? Yeah, yeah, I want to be free. Because last year I was the volunteer, so I. Oh, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chacha. So okay. <laughs> see you. Okay. So these are my juniors actually, and they are also doing the volunteer things. <sighs> they are more busy than me since. Now we have another brother who is ready to demonstrate his project. This is another model again. So this ka model ka. Uh, like working system kaise so what we have done ki humne yahan pe ek emz sensor design kiya hai emz ek machine jo arduino se control hota hai to aap yahan pe dekh sakte hai ye wala emz muscle sensor hai iska naam hai bioem speed sensor iska specific naam hai is ye jo electrode hai yahan pe ye electrode se hamare bony muscle jahan pe hota hai na matlab arm hota hai ya kahi wahi pe koi attach hota hai वो लगा रहता है तो उससे एक पल्स जनरेट होता है जो कि जाता है EMG सेंसर को उससे जो आउटपुट निकल रहा है वो हमने डायरेक्ट दिया आर्डिनो आर्डिनो को और यहाँ पे हमने ऐसे कोडिंग किया कि जिस हिसाब से वो होगा मतलब जिस हिसाब से आउटपुट होगा 
मिली वोल्ट में आएगा मतलब एक पल्स आएगा जितना पल्स आता है उसके हिसाब से हमने सार्वो मोटर को कंट्रोल किया इतना पल्स होगा तो इतना आएगा इससे नीचे होगा तो सार्वो ऑन नहीं होगा इससे ज्यादा जाएगा तो ज्यादा रिफ्लेक्ट करेगा ऐसा कंट्रोल करेगा तो उसको हमने जस्ट एक मॉडल के मॉडल के साथ हमने रिप्रेजेंट किया है दिखाया है इससे अलग और भी कुछ बन सकते हैं जैसे ऑटोमेशन हो गया या आपका किसी का प्रोस्थेटिक लिंग हो गया जैसे किसी का हाथ टूट गया तो उसके मतलब जो भी बाकी हाथ है एल्बो के ऊपर उसमें तो पल्स तो जनरेट होगा ना तो उससे जो पल्स निकालता है उससे वो मतलब एक प्रोस्थेटिक लैम्प यहाँ पे लगा दिया उससे वो इस लैम्प को कंट्रोल कर सकता है ऐसा कुछ मॉडल हमने दिखाया था और भी ऑटोमेशन में कहीं भी यूज हो सकता है जहाँ पर भी हमको इसको फर्दर सिंप्लीफाई किया जा सकता है ब्रॉडली तो हमने ऐसा एक मॉडल जस्ट रिप्रेजेंट किया है यहाँ पे तो मेडिकल में भी या इनफेक्ट आप इनफेक्ट आप इंस्ट्रूमेंट ही खरीदो घर पे तो उसका अराउंड रहता है हमने सिर्फ यहाँ पे अगर हम टोटल कॉस्ट की बात करें इसका तो पंद्रह के आसपास है पंद्रह से नीचे ही आएगा तो ऐसा करके हमने मॉडल यस यस ब्रदर्स that is uh, for medical purposes medical use and other purposes so these are the brothers yeah thank you brothers i wish you good luck so these are the project holders and these are the participants of this uh, beyond the net 3.0 and we can also see the champions that they are going to be awarded and yeah we can also see the organizers first so so we are here with so much young talented students they are exhibiting their like enthusiasm so with such high spirit and all so yeah it, it i hope it will be a great success this time thank you so much sister and very happy to see that you You are able to organize all these programs, and even me, I'm I'm like fortunate to see it, even though I don't do it again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much.